Hello everyone, this is Charles from AKCP here. Welcome to this short video on how to monitor the dew point temperature with the AKC Pro server and AKCP temperature and humidity sensors. First, let's talk about the dew point temperature. What is it and why should it be monitored? Well, the dew point temperature is an absolute measure of how much water vapor is in the air. It is a temperature at which the air can no longer hold water vapor within it, and therefore some of the vapor has to condensate into liquid. The dew point temperature is always lower or equal to the air temperature. In other words, it is the temperature of the air at which water droplets can start to form, like the fogging on your bathroom mirror when you take a hot shower. That's because the mirror surface temperature is lower than the dew point temperature, which allows fogging to appear on the mirror. It is to be noted that the dew point is different from relative humidity, which varies with the temperature. That means for a constant absolute humidity, as the temperature increases, the relative humidity decreases, and the opposite. As the temperature lowers, the relative humidity would increase being closer and closer to saturation. Let's say that you are in the storage industry of perishable goods. It is important for you not only to monitor the temperature in order to keep your products in good condition, but you should also monitor the humidity and the dew point. This is in order to control the presence of too much moisture in the air and the apparition of mold or mildew. So let's see how you can set up a dew point temperature sensor on the AKC Pro server. Well, I will assume that you already have set up your temperature and humidity monitoring system at your warehouse storage area, like on this workspace. And now you want to also monitor the dew point and have alerts when the ambient temperature comes too close to the dew point or the dew point is too high. So let's first open the explorer tree. Now uh, find your host, uh, SP2+, plus, SPX, uh, SEC5, or SP2, SP8. Uh, select, uh, click on the menu and select create a virtual sensor. On the virtual sensors, uh, you, we have different types. What we are interested in is the dew point sensor. Click next, uh, select set the name, so storage dew point temperature we will enable graph to follow if the, the dew point temperature varies next select the temperature that you want to monitor temperature on the row 2 uh, the humidity sensor that you relative humidity sensor that you are, are monitoring uh, now you can configure uh, your main max of the dew point temperature and the different thresholds that you want to monitor. So let's say we will set a minus 10 for the minimum. I want to have a low critical at 0 degrees Celsius, a low warning at 2 degrees Celsius, a high warning at uh, let's say 8 degrees Celsius and high critical at uh, 10, 12 degrees Celsius and let's say a max 20. So that means I will have a, a, a status uh, at this different uh, when the dew point uh, reach these different thresholds. Uh, polling interval it is uh, how often the value is updated, and click on finish. Now you have you can see you have the sensor that is uh, appearing in the list of sensor of your host. Uh, we can directly quickly check what is the uh, dew point temperature for this uh, storage area. We want, say, we want to have a temperature, constant temperature around 15 degrees Celsius and we want to continue. So we will see that the dew point with a 50% relative humidity is at 4.5 degrees. That means uh, in order for to get um, condensation at 50% of relative humidity, the temperature has to go down to 4.5 degrees Celsius. So let's add back the temperature on our row 2. You can drag the sensor on your workspace and it will appear this 
it looks like uh, I previously configured, but you can configure the shape and the the, the text uh, around your icon by clicking edit marker. You select the shape. I select a diamond default is icon. Uh, you can select size of the the, the icon is flashing. If you want uh, text, here I use a macro value to show the value, the size of text and its position. And then uh, apply to this all this type or only this one yeah, as you wish. Finish. So now we have our dew point temperature and we can monitor that value. Now you want to have an alert when the dew point uh, rises. That means your humidity increase and you, so you can select um, create a notification with uh, here I will set an email, I already configured an email just need to go to notification rules click on add select the priority in case you have multiple multiple uh, notification triggered at the same time it will process the highest first select the sensor that you want to uh, use so the storage dew point temperature you use uh, low warning, high, low critical sensor error, and select the action. Next, select uh, delay before triggering the action. If the threshold is changed, status change, I will say like a 60 second. So I will be sure that the dew point uh, reached this uh, threshold for 60 seconds before sending, receiving an email. You can select the period of the day uh, you want uh, to receive notifications so on the time here and click finish. So here it is, you have your notification setup uh, regarding the viewpoint and your environment is configured, you have your viewpoint sensor, you can click and then your workspace is done. And now you are ready to monitor the humidity levels at your storage and protect your goods. Thank you. So if you like this video please leave a like and don't forget to subscribe if you want to watch our future videos. A bientôt, bye!